Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from partial differential equation. So let's look at this problem, we need to solve this. So if you look at this problem carefully, then let's make some adjustment first. So the adjustment we are going to do is, this x square minus y square, send that term to the right hand side. So we'll get xp small p minus yq equals to, I can say that becomes y square minus x square. Now this is of the form pp plus qq equals to r, which is the Lagrange's form. So we write the auxiliary equation which is dx by p, p plus, uh, sorry, equals to dy by q, equals to dz by r. What is our p in this question? That is small x, so dx by x, dy by whatever is with q, write that. So minus y dz divided by y square minus x. This is the basic step you need to follow. And we have two subcategories in Lagrange's method. First one is method of grouping. If that works, that means if by just equating this you are getting an equation, that's fine. Try to get uh, equations. If you get two equations, fine. If you get one, try to extract that one also, okay? If not, then you have to move to method of multiplier. Method of multiplier is not something you would be looking for in the first go. First try by method of grouping. If method of grouping is not working, then only move to method of multipliers. And what the, does method of multiplier say? We can write that equation here also. So that's say choose such value of L, M and N so that L dx plus m dy plus n dz, you will get some thing in numerator and denominator becomes zero for that l, m and n. Once that l is multiplied with p, uh, capital P, which is the coefficient of small p, m is multiplied with q and this n is multiplied with r. When this is done, denominator should become zero because that if equated to any of these three makes that zero. So ultimately whatever is in the numerator should be left and you can integrate it easily. So these are the options. Let's see. First thing, go simple. Method of grouping is working here with these two. So if I take these two, so dx by x equals to dy by y, I get a minus sign. Just integrate them. Integration of dx by x is nothing but log x. Integration of dy by y is nothing but log y. You get a constant, name that also in terms of log so that we can easily get a simple equation. Now you already know since your childhood that log a plus log b provided their base is same gives you log a b. So we will be using the same. Send this to the other side so you get log x plus log y giving you log c1. So this gives you log xy equals to log c1. You can now equate this two and finally say that you get a equation successfully which you can also name as u. So this is the first one you got. So name this as equation number one if you need. What about second one? Second one is purely subjective. I personally try to think of the simplest multiplier which can be possible. Someone might think of a complex one. Depends on how you think. So, if I carefully see, on summing this, uh, let me write P, Q and R once again. So, my P is X. My Q is uh, minus y and my r is x square minus y square. If I right now add them, it is not becoming zero. 
If I right now add them, what does that mean? That if I take multiplier as 1, 1 and 1, that means x minus y plus this, that becomes 0, no way. So what should I do? Show that this becomes 0. So as I can see, I have to eliminate this x square. I already have a x. Why not multiply this by x? Why not multiply this by y? That way this will become x square. That way this will become minus of y square. Okay, wait. This will become minus of y square. Interesting. So, I what I need is to make them, I need a minus y as multiplier. Interesting one. So, minus 1 if I choose and multiply, I get a plus y square. Isn't it? Now, this plus y square. Okay, wait once more this r as i have written is not this way oh. this r which i have written is not the form which i am looking for Control plus makes eraser larger. So, anyway, I have done by. So, this is your R. In simplest form, you need to check your R. So, this is your R. So, if I look at my R, this is my R. Y square minus X square is my R. Now, if I look at them, first one multiplied by X, this becomes X square. This X square minus x square gone this is minus y if i multiply that by y this gives me minus y square when added with this y square gone so if i choose l as x my m as y and my n as 1 because if i multiply this by 1 i multiplied this by y I multiplied this by L. These are multipliers. That's why the name suggests multipliers. So L, M, N, N I got. Just plug it. So just make, give me some space. So out of these three, the simplest one, dx by x I am taking. So this dx by x is equal to, what is my L? This is x dx. Then your y comes with dy your z, uh, your m comes with dy, your n comes with dz. So simply dz. Divided by, as I told you, when you will put them, uh, let me show you, x multiplied by x plus minus y multiplied with y and 1 multiplied with y square minus x square. This is anyway going to give you 0. So dx by x is x dx plus y dy plus dz divided by 0. Cross it. So you are going to get a simple looking equation which is x dx plus y dy plus dz gives you 0. Simply integrate it. You are going to integrate this. So you are going to get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z equals to c2 that's what you needed mark them as v so there you got you only need two equations to move ahead so finally what we write phi of u comma v equals to 0 so phi of first one was xy second one is right in front of you uh, plus z fine equals to 0 as I always tell the other way to write this as phi of take the first one equals to the second one x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z or the third one to write is these are just different ways to write this phi of 
एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू वाई स्क्वायर बाई टू जेड इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर सो एनी वे चूज एनी ऑफ दिस थ्री टू मैक दिस एज योर फाइनल आंसर सो दैट्स हाउ वी डिड दिस प्रॉब्लम इट टू कबिट ऑफ टाइम just to make you clear as to how i can move ahead with this uh, if you have chosen something as as multiply do comment that because that will also give me some more knowledge so that if i teach or solve this question for the next time i'm ready with two set of multipliers so uh, to begin with standard form so take that x square minus y square to the other side, so you get pp plus qq equals to r. This is the Lagrangian's format. Write the auxiliary equation, which is dx by p plus dy uh, equals to dy by q equals to dz by r. Equate them. Two methods are there. First one is primary, so method of grouping works for the first two. I got an equation. Then I needed a method of multipliers because to equate with dz by something, I needed terms of z which was not present. So for that i use the method of multiply i chose x y and 1 as multipliers and that's how i did simple and easy that's it from my side for more such problem do visit my playlist on partial differential equation there you will get lots of friends of this question that is similar ones and more topics as well from partial differential equation that's it from my side thanks for this boring lecture thanks and have a nice day